once again to my channel in today's video you're going to um, study three main words so with the words we're going to have um, kochon kochon and then kochip and kong ik kong ik all right so let's we move straight to google and then you type in hancha dictionary so the first one that comes up you see mm. so you have a lot of options here i will prefer that you use hancha dictionary which is the second one not the first one second one and like i usually say some of the words i'm going to say will not be found here i'm just going to say from my mind and from experience what i've read so it will be good you have your piece of paper and you are able to take notes all right so let's start with the first word the first word here is kion sorry the first word here is kochong 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 all right so kochong means fixed or fixation kochong fixed or fixation so kochong is a very interesting word the co part of kochong means strength solidify or to become solid whilst the chong in this way means fixed so even though chong has so many meanings here the most important meaning here is the fixed so like i said in the other previous videos um, if you didn't watch those ones you can just go and watch for each hunter or we have either two or more characters so the meaning of one character might be stronger than the rest and that determines the meaning of the word in this case the ko means the strong right and then the chong means the fixed means fixed so both of them have similar strength that's why it determine both of them determine the word to mean fixation let's go to the individual words um, ko has ko chip ko chip so ko chip would be our second word for the day so I wouldn't go through much and so let's look at the tone the tone means to decide to settle or fix in today's lesson I'm going to look at the decide aspect of tone decide aspect of tone please take note the decide aspect of tone I'm sure you have come across this word kyong chong kyong chong is a very common word used meaning decision so the tone aspect of kyong chong means decision so the chong is decided the chong is what gives the meaning of the word so even when you take away the kyong the word still stands as decision that's why we have kyong chong hada means to decide kyong chong hada to decide and we also have chong hada it also means to decide because chong is what is determining the meaning of the word so take note okay and then we did ka chong ka chong ka chong means hypothesis and we know from the previous video ka means false false so false decision that makes it hypothesis because hypothesis is still not proven right you it's still false till you prove it right that's why it's false decision or fixed okay and then we have bu chong inconsistency bu chong so each time you see bu bu connotes denotes negativity or no so in english we also have some suffixes and prefaces in english language so here it's a it's, it's called previous so each time you see pu chong negative it's always given a negative connotation that's why we have inconsistency so fixed is chong right or this or the side is also chong so if you have bu chong right non decision non decision non decision or not fixed not fixed that's why it's called inconsistency Inco inconsistency yes and you even have butchong meaning neg neg negation negation in this case okay then we have other ways by which chong is used ye chong ye chong so chong decision ye before so before decision that's program or even schedule so schedule is something um it's just it's a decision you have made but it has not occurred 
So it's a pre decision. That's why it's called a schedule. So ye is pre, chong is decision. So ye chong means schedule. All right. And then you have uh, other ones like il chong, meaning constant, constant or changeless. Okay. Um, I'll just look at the very important ones. All right, so that's all for Chong. Yes, that's all for Chong. That's um, the most important ones are what I've said. Okay, let's look at the other part of the word, which is the Ko Chong. The Ko, yes, we've already talked about the Ko, and we talk about the Chong. Yes, so I'm done with the word Ko Chong. Let's look at other words. So <clears throat> we, are, we are done with Ko Chong. The next one is Ko Chip. So Ko Chip was part of Kochong, right? And I said for me that we know the ko means solidify or strain, right? So the chip aspect is what I'm going to look at. The chip means to hold, to to keep, to hold in hand, to carry out. So chip is what I'm going to look into. So other words for chip, like we have ko chip, right? Persistence. So Mm, we also have we also have chip hen chip hen chip hen means enforcement so chip means to carry out but hang hang in chip hang in chip hen has the same connotation so hang also means something in progress something which is happening it's it's in progress it's already taking place I think in English language we would say ing, ing. So chip hang means enforcement. Hang means progress. Let's look at more um, words that use hang. So hang here. Hmm. Hang. Okay. So. So like you have p hang, p hang, p hang movement. Movement. That's why it's flying or aviation. So pihengi. So the the machine that moves becomes an aeroplane. Pihengi. Okay. And other parts of hang. Your hang. Your hang. So you go on a trip. Movement. That's why the your for your hang. The your means trip or travel. But then the hang is to walk or, or move. So without much, let's. As other words, we also have ching heng, so this word ching heng, progress or advance. So the heng here, movement, right? It has similar connotation here. All right, now we are done with the, the second word, which is ko chip. So with the second word, once again, let me reiterate the ko for ko chip. The ko means. Um, the core means solid, solid, or strength. Then the chip means to carry out or to keep or to hold in hand. Um, let's look at the last word for today. I'm trying very hard to make my videos short because some people told me that if the videos are long, it's very hard to watch. If you disagree or you think otherwise, you can let me know. I have more to say, but because of time, I'm trying to make it very short. All right. Um, Let's look at the last word for today. But before the last word, I want to tell you something about the first word, which is the ko chong. So, like we said, the ko chong, right? Something about ko chong, which is fixed, right? So, if you have something which is called ko chong, this word is used in, mm, it's used very often in topic. A word called kyong. Nyom, kyong nyom, kyong nyom, kyong nyom simply means idea. Kyong nyom simply means idea. So idea, kyong nyom. So if you see a word like ko chong, kyong nyom, can you guess the meaning? I'm sure you'd have just guessed the meaning. So ko chong means fixed, and kyong nyom means idea. So fixed idea. Oh, you see fixed idea. What does it mean? It means someone with a fixed idea is some is a stereotype. I'm sure your guess was right as mine. Stereotype. So this is very easy. So kotong, stereotype. You get a point. So kwanyom, 
this idea cotton is fixed fixed idea because of the stereotype all right that was just by the way let's move back to our dictionary hancha dictionary and then let's look at the last word for today the last word is one of my favorites because it's it makes other words memorizing other words very easy the word is kong ik kong ik kong ik kong ik so we did a video already about kong if you remember if you don't remember you can just go through the other videos kong i'm sure you would have you would have just um, predicted as i said in the other video kong means public 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 is kong and then ik is profit profit so kong ik is public good public good becomes kong ik kong is public ik is good or profit okay let's dive into it so we've already done the kong aspect but i would go through again for the sake of those who haven't seen the other p video so let's go to kong which is public so we have kong 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 chanso public places the chanso we've already studied chanso chan mean place so it's also place and kong 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 is public that's why it becomes public place and then we have kong ke ke means new i'm sure your guess is as good as mine we did this already ke means new and kong is place so new we have new opening to the public making public so you are making something new to the public that's why it's opening to the public kong ke all right and then we have kong me 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 means to buy me me means to buy or sell that's why there's a word called me me hada me me hada means to buy and sell okay so kong he kong me public sale public sale and then we have kong sa sa means company sa is company so if, if you see kong which is so public company that becomes a public corporation public corporation okay and then we have kong shik kong shik kong in kong shik the kong is public shik means knowledge knowledge so public knowledge becomes a formula public knowledge becomes a formula okay i hope you are writing those things down they are very very important okay and then let's look at okay so we are done with the kong aspect which is public but let's look at the ik 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 so ik means profit benefit advantage profit benefit or advantage so kong ik public then profit becomes public good and then um e ik e ik so the ik here is defining the meaning of the word because ik ik means profit so if there is e ik the e doesn't say much about the word but the ik is what says a lot about the word that makes it gain or interest gain or interest so we have something we call suik suik okay let's go through suik ik here in suik the ik is for profit now what about the su so su means together su means together and ik means profit so together profit becomes your returns or your proceeds that's so interesting so let's look at the su which is together su so there are so many meanings for su like suak suak harvesting harvesting so together products that becomes harvesting suak mm, yong su yong su yong su ching yong su yong su ching is receipts i i would be doing a video on some of this words later on so i don't want to go through them okay so that is it that is it ig means profit and so su ig gather profit that becomes your returns or your proceeds all right that is all for today i would do a summary so for today's summary we studied three main words the first one was kotong kotong and kotong means fixed 
fixed fixed so coton means fixed the co means solid solid or fixed and then the tongue means decision decision or even fixed and we studied what tongue means when it comes to de decision like we did something like tongue harder to decide and kill tongue harder mean also means to decide so tongue has two meanings it could mean fixed and it also means decide but in this case it's fixed and then we also studied a word called co-chip 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 yes and we as i said early on in 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 cotton the co means fixed so it's the same thing for this word tongue means to carry out or to hold in so cotton becomes to be persistent or insistent all right now the last word which we studied was kongig 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 was i just said that one recently it's public good so the kong in kongig is public was the ig ig means profit that's why it's called public good all right that's all for today mm, i'm sure if you didn't get something or you have other opinions about some of the things and you would like me to explain it better you can just let me know and i can make another video on those ones all the same thank you so much for being with me after this time it's been a long video but i'm sure you got what i was saying and i would be glad if you like the video and subscribe to the channel so that i make more of those videos for us all i the objective here is to help those who want to pass topic pass easily and like i said early on i believe in studying smart instead of studying hard so let's do it this together see you in the next video bye